Okay, so what are the fruits of the Spirit? The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I would like for you to identify which fruit do you struggle with the most? Which fruit do you struggle with the most? Identify it, write it down, journal it out, and join us on our roundtable discussion. Yeah, so we've been talking about discerning spirits and to, today we're gonna to be talking about the fruits of the spirit. And so I want you to ask yourself, are you showing up each day displaying the fruits of the spirit? And when I say fruit of the spirit, I don't mean any old random spirit, okay? The Bible says that you will know them by their what? By their fruit. So what kind of fruit do you have? I showed you the fruit earlier. Um, my husband's been on this kick. He wanted juice. I've been, I told him how to juice years ago, but now he wants to do it himself. So he bought all this fruit and some of the fruit was rotten. <laughs> so he put all the fruit in this big bowl. I, I showed you the picture of the bowl and it's this big bowl full of fruit. And some of the fruit is rotten. Some of the fruit is good. Some of the fruit is not so good. And then he mixed some other things in there, like uh, cucumber and some other things that are actually not fruit, but in fact, a vegetable. And so I want you to examine yourself today because we're talking about discerning spirits. Um, but, but, but sometimes you got to check yourself. So, so do you have other things mixed in the in, in there? Like when you show up and you speak and you talk, you, I'm talking about your tone, your, your mannerisms, you know, how you treat people, you know, all of that, how you sound, all of that. Your character. Does your fruit, because some of the fruit was bruised, some of the fruit was good, some of the fruit was just bad. Some of the fruit was just straight up rotten. You know, then, like I said, he mixed some other things in there. So when you show up, how do you show up? How are you showing up? And then we were talking about being fruit inspectors. Well, you can't in expect somebody else's fruit when you're not even checking yourself. You're not even expecting your fruit. So we have to examine ourselves first. We have to take the plank out of our own eyes. And so therefore, we're not going back and forth with people. Say, I'm not going back and forth with you. I am not going back and forth with you. I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. And sometimes it's hard. I had to catch myself a few times. Sometimes it's hard. But you know, you can't make sense out of nonsense. I'm going to say that again. You can't make sense out of nonsense. And some of it is just nonsense. My grandmother used to just say, that's foolishness. <laughs> Some of it is just foolishness. And so we must discern the spirits that we encounter. Amen. So we're going to talk about the fruit of the spirit. I want you to go with me uh, first to um, Ephesians 6, 12. Ephesians 6, 12, because some of the struggle that you're having some of the, some of them spirits that you're encountering are just wicked let's just keep it real just wicked and some of that crazy that you're seeing is definitely not from god and is not of god say it's not from god not only is it not from god but it's not of god and so we need to check ourselves, right? Amen. But then we know that the Bible tells us that, you know, um, you know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So you have to look at the spirit behind the person. Okay. And sometimes there's a conflict because, you know, your spirit is in conflict with their spirit because their spirit ain't right. Right? Again, you can't make sense out of nonsense right but the bible says that you will know them by 
bear fruit. But that applies to you as well, right? So Ephesians, let's go to Ephesians 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. So you know that obviously, you know, there's a lot of things we see and feel in the natural so, but, but there's also a spirit realm. Okay. Amen. Um, and so we should be discerning spirits. We should, but some things are just obvious. If, if some, you, you know, you should know right away whether or not somebody's displaying the fruits of the spirit. Okay. Like people have, they lack self-control. They lack, um, you know, patience, you know, all this, there's so many things going on, road rage, people snapping out like at the drop of a hat. So right away, you don't even have to give it a second thought. You already know they're not displaying the fruits of the spirit. And just like, I mean, even yourself, if you if short tempered, you're going back and forth with people, you lack patience, you know, you're not displaying the love of God, you're not reflecting God in the earth. God is love. So therefore we need to be loved. We need to show up looking like God, amen. So I wanna read the Amplified Translation of Ephesians. Um, let me read the Amplified Translation. It says, for our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly supernatural places. That's the Amplified Translation. I like that translation. It just breaks it down. So we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but, you know, we, we have to check ourselves first. How are we showing up? How are we showing up? Right. And, and then sometimes, you know, we have to become fruit inspectors because especially if people are in your circle, right. If you don't want, you have to deal with people often, you have to check their fruit right? And, and getting back to that big bowl of fruit that my husband had with all this fruit in it, sometimes you don't even have to go far to check. You can just see by the words that they speak, by their attitude, by their tone, right? Very argumentative, very impatient. You know, that's, that's what the world is looking like more and more, but we have to start with ourselves. Say, check yourself before you wreck yourself. So when we want, when we talk about discerning spirits, check yourself first. Are you showing up displaying the fruit of the spirit? And I don't mean any old random spirit. I mean, Holy Spirit. Or are you just showing up as something else? Because there are other spirits. Okay, and that's for another day. We'll talk about that. <laughs> okay, um, but go with me to uh, Galatians five twenty two. We're gonna. I'm gonna give you the scripture for the uh, fruits, the the um, fruits of the spirit. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna get off a line, and then we're gonna dig into some questions and answers um, at our round table. Okay, so but I want to read this scripture for with you. First, talk about it a little bit. Then we can go and dive into a deep red our round table. All right, there we go. So Galatians 5.22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Do you see that in yourself? Do you hear that from yourself? Do you show up with those attributes? 
right? Let me read the Amplified to you. The Amplified says, but the fruit of the spirit, the result of his presence within us, his presence, God's presence. How many know the greater ones live, the greater one lives within us? Say the greater one lives within me. Hallelujah. Yes. But the fruit of the spirit, the result of his presence within us is love, unselfish concern for others, joy, inner peace, patience, not the ability to wait, but how we act while we wait. Kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Right? And so when we talk about discerning spirits, first we're going to start within. We're going to start with ourselves. We're going to check ourselves first. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to um, examine ourselves. I'm going to examine myself first. Okay, then once you examine yourself, then you can begin to look at the fruit of others around you. How are they showing up? What does their fruit look like? Is it rotten fruit? Is it bruised fruit? Is it mixed up with other things? Because these days a lot, but we mix a lot of stuff together. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Witchcraft is all up in the church. Now I'm not talking about all churches. First of all, let's get this straight. We the people of God. We are the church. Say, I am the church. But a lot of people are dipping and dabbling in witchcraft. That's why it's important that we discern spirits. Okay. Yeah. So we can start with the fruit of the spirit. Okay. What does their fruit look like? What does their fruit look like? What does your fruit look like? Okay, because remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So when they start acting crazy, like my grandmother used to say, foolish, foolish, bunch of foolishness, used to say. That's just foolishness. Listen, you don't have to go back and forth with people. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And so some of that crazy that you're seeing is really not the person that you're seeing. For the struggle is not against flesh and blood. Con contending only with physical opponents, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly supernatural places. In the heavenly realm. Amen. Hey Amen. Listen, we got we to go to our roundtable session. If you're online, uh, go to the Breakthrough app and contact me so you can join us on, at our roundtable session. I just want to speak that third John blessing over you. I pray above all things that you will prosper, be in health, even as your soul prospers in Jesus' name. Listen, are you a fruit inspector? Start with yourself. And then you can inspect some others. God bless you. This is Pastor Carolyn, your pastor and purpose pusher, signing off. I'll see you next time. I'll see you at the round table.